Today on Street Power we'll be reviewing the Go EFI 8 1200 horsepower fuel injection system. This system is a throttle body style system from Phytech Fuel Injection and uh, we'll be doing an unboxing and uh, later on in another video we'll have it installed on a vehicle and show you the install and show you the uh, performance benefits from this. Alright, so first off, got the box here. Looks like it's a pretty decent box. It's got a few advertisements on it. it says never buy a carburetor again. Well, we'll find out after we install it if that's true. You'd slide across here, un do that, and I've already actually undid that. Uh, I did it the other day when it came in, and I thought about you know what be nice to kind of open it up and uh, show people uh, as I uh, see it so or as I saw it alright um, first you get a little pamphlet here a little uh, quick start guide setting up the handheld controller you get an instruction manual and then you've got uh, looks like some quick tip type stuff uh, it's like it's addressed to nitrous all right, it's got two layers of styrofoam type packing. Got a uh, connector here. Looks to be a pretty decent connector. Another one. This looks like uh, one of the main harness with uh, the 12 volt power supply and our power wire and. Uh, other various wires like a package with a uh, a set screw and it says root type superchargers only so uh, make sure if you purchase one read that because uh, that's uh, gonna be only for a a few people that uh, decide to go that route I'm a turbo man myself so I don't look down on either one of them any forced induction is cool to me but uh, I prefer turbos. Um, that's just my two cents. Uh, looks like a maybe a power uh, cable connector for your um, display. Wide band O2. Uh, this looks like one of those that you could just drill on the side of your uh, pipe and then put the clamps on. I prefer mine to be welded in, but this does make it easy for people who uh, don't have access to a welder or um, possibly just getting the kit up and running and then carrying it to a, a weld shop and getting them to weld in a bone. It's got some uh, flange gaskets, uh, carburetor base plate gaskets, and uh, a, a seal for the air cleaner. Um, now, when I use, uh, my, most of my things are um, turbocharged, which uh, centrifugal supercharged be the same thing, but um, I prefer using an O-ring um, on mine, and uh, I've found um, that if you go to, say, a place like Fastenal or what have you, you can buy an O-ring um, and, uh, and put it on there, and it seals way better. Uh, you won't have the leaks, and you'll have consistent boost results. Um, uh, whenever you uh, decide to go that route so that if you wanted to go forced induction uh, blow through style setup the o-ring to me works better uh, but that's my opinion looks like a, an adapter for the coolant temp sensor and I'm not sure it's probably like a block off plate for a uh, one of your fuel inlets if you didn't want to use one or the other This looks like the uh, handheld controller mount. And it looks 
looks like you got a uh, warranty here for one year limit of warranty on the Fitech system. Alright, now with the, the good stuff. Let's see. Alright, this is Fitech's display. I've never used Fitech systems before. Um, this uh, I'm just trying this out. It, <clears throat> their uh, claims and uh, horsepower claims and stuff like that uh, capable of supporting 1200 horsepower. And this is the biggest um, single throttle body horsepower rating that I've seen. And this also handles all kind of uh, force induction, nitrous, all kinds of things. So it's a very versatile system. So uh, I wanted to try it out and see how how good these systems were. They definitely have the market cornered on price. If you look at the price on these versus uh, some of the other systems, and this is three zero zero one two part number, but you can't beat the price. You've got uh, the only similar system that I can think of um, is going to be the fast system and the fast throttle body for forced induction is about $2,600 I believe. I can't recall if it comes with any extra stuff or what have you, but this right here comes with all the things I've shown. Uh, this is um, no fuel system at all except for um, if you count the fuel pressure regulator that's mounted to the side. Uh, but there's no fuel pump, um, no no lines, no no anything else uh, for a fuel system except for the the parts I've shown you. So you'll have to get your own fuel pump. And uh, and now they do uh, have versions that have all that extra stuff, but uh, the price on this I think is around fifteen hundred bucks uh, plus tax. Um, but you're not even competing with uh, other companies that are asking way more for their product. So hopefully this product is really good because at that price, if it's really good, they they have the market. So anyway, this is uh this is the 1200 horsepower version, as said, um, has uh, four bores uh, here and the throttle uh, blades inside. And um, it's supposed to be all self-contained. Uh, they have every bit of sensors pretty much in here except for uh, probably two external sensors, which is the O2 sensor and the coolant temp sensor. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, so you can see uh, it is a, a nice finish. Got the matte black going on. And uh, yeah, so we're going to try that out. And... The, uh, the other thing, we were talking about fuel systems, and this is a fuel system that Phytech actually um, sells. Uh, it's Hyperfuel is the kind of, I guess, their name for that, um, but it is a Phytech fuel injection uh, system product, and uh, this is the single pump version, which is sport 800 horsepower. And I know what you're thinking, well, you bought a 1200 horsepower a capable system over here and you've got a single pump here. Well, this is just for me to show you how they package things. Um, I've, all, I've got the uh, the 1200 or excuse me the uh, 1600. It's uh, this is the dual pump system and it's a 1600 uh, horsepower capable uh, system. This is EFI um, horsepower is what they're rating it at and uh, and it comes the same size the same case as the single pump but the single pump only has one 340 liter per hour pump. I've already opened this also, but it comes with instructions and a very uh, cool, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of packaging like this for the fuel pumps that I've purchased, um, but a very cool, um, you know, like this pump could probably fall downstairs, you know, the, the, the box assembly and not hurt the pump. I mean, it's, it's that uh, robust. Um, so you have uh, a few wiring connectors, which is nice that they put those in, but not really necessary. Um, you're probably going to use your own stuff anyway. Got a few stickers in here. And the fuel pump. Let's 
uh, as you can see, it's packaged very well. It fits in here, there's no movement. So it's gonna be very protected. And it's, uh, it's actually a little bit of a challenge just to get the thing out. So, as I said, this is the single pump system. Uh, the case itself is the same size as the dual pump system. Uh, the way to tell, aside from a sticker that says single or dual, is you'll have an, the red fitting is the pressure side uh, that comes from the pump that's in, internal in here. And uh, you'll actually have an, an extra red fitting. Um, and then so like uh, this has four fittings total. The uh, dual pump has uh, five total. So and then you'll have an extra positive uh, up here that'll just be like a triangle. You know, there'll be a negative, positive, and a positive over here. So, uh, but anyway, it's a great, a nice case. I actually opened this one up um, and uh, and looked at the assembly, and uh, everything's top notch inside. And uh, and on a future video, I'll uh, I'll open up uh, for y'all and let you look at it. Um, it's uh, it's very good. This, um, I think, was a quart, I believe, was what the size of the volume was. Um, but, yeah, so so if you get that or the dual pump assembly um, and, and this system, uh, you pretty much can take an old vehicle uh, that has a mechanical pump on the side of the motor um, and then supply from that mechanical pump, you, you supply this. And this fills up a fuel, and then you have a return back to the tank, and then you have a, um, you know, uh, a supply to the motor, and this pretty much simplifies uh, your fuel system. So there was a lot of thought. I think Fitech, uh, you know, thought a bunch about how to make this system a lot easier for people who want to upgrade but don't want to do a bunch of stuff in their uh, in their fuel tank. You know modifying and there's a lot of companies out there that build a tank for you but to tell you price difference you have to modify your tank or you have to buy it say buy the tank and most of those are six seven hundred dollars um, which gets you a new tank and the pump but that's a 340 liter per hour pump and that's it um, I don't see many of them that have a higher rating pump for that uh, this is three hundred dollars by itself um, and then the dual pump version is about four hundred dollars uh, right at four hundred and you have uh, with a dual pump for 400 bucks you've got the capability of 1600 horsepower you've got two pumps in there and say you don't want to run both you just cap one of them off and then if you if a pump failed for whatever reason um you just um you know swap your wire positive to the other positive and move a hose and hey now you're back up and running you know so um, I looked at it from that perspective, you know, so uh, everybody's got their own opinions um, and this is just mine and uh, Just trying to um, give you all a little bit of uh, A little bit more information that I was able to find on the internet uh, for this stuff. So anyway, all right, well Take it easy. This is Street Pile